model mapper, a solution conversion using reflections, where you don't need to create a new class to do the conversion to and from Java objects. On today's video, we're going to learn why and how to use model mapper instead of use it manually. Hello you! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Otavio Santana and if you are a senior engineer who wants to know and move your career to and from an another level, welcome to my YouTube channel and learn more about the conversion and why you should not do it manually. Hello again. My goal here is to talk more about another framework solution to in front uh, objects with Java. The previous video I talked about uh, MapStruct. Right now I will cover Model Mapper, where the main difference between them is the MapStruct gonna use reflectionless solution, therefore it will avoid reflection using Java notation processor, and this one here will use more reflection uh, solution. Uh, we're gonna use the same uh, classes to convert, so delivery and delivery DTO. And of course, the first step is to include, as you can see here, the model mapper instead of the map struct. I will come to uh, my delivery test where we do have the delivery mapper that we don't need it anymore and a couple of imports. The first step here is to delete this class because we're gonna use delete anyway and then we come here and instead of use the model mapper we're gonna use the model mapper and we will create this one here with new model mapper. So first step, the model mapper, and then convert the method. So there is no two DTO with two entity, of course. That is the map where I pull the source and then I will uh, pass the delivery DTO as destination type. I need to do exactly the same, of course, with the opposite methods. So DTO, and right now I need to set delivery as a class. With all the methods clean, we can execute and see the issues. The first one here is, uh, it does not, oops. The first one here is about the import. And then let's execute again. The second one is because I don't have a constructor and also the model mapper does not support a record class. So I need to come here and convert this class, this class, this record to class. So I will convert record to class where I need to remove this class as final, so this class as final, and I need to come here and define an empty constructor. I need to do exactly something here, so I need to come here, I will define an empty constructor, and I will run again. I might have a different issue right now. So what happened here? It is expecting Salvador, it's returning new over here because it's gonna use a convention. I mean, using the getters and setters methods. What I can do here is take the mapper, this mapper, get the configuration and then define to use fields, so looking for fields instead of methods. And then I will set 
the field access level to private. So right now, it's much do the map the mapper in the majority. And this one here, I don't I don't have the track ID because it involves the integration between UU ID and string. Therefore, I need to create a converter and it's also going to have with the when local date. So what do I need to do? I need to come here and create two converters. One where give I string, I will return as UUID, so UID converter, where I will create a new abstract converter that I will convert this little guy here to converter and then do exact something with a string a local date. Local date converter, come here, new abstract converter, and then use the parser. Uh, I can make this code even better using removing generics here to make the diamond since Java set we're able to use. And then I need to come to the mapper, add the converter, UUID, and then the second converter, oops, not U, is local date converter. That is another important thing here. It is once the fields are different, they are different between the, the nomenclature of fields, I can do the conversion. I need to, do, to teach to the mapper where and to I need to go. On this case, I will come here, this mapper, create type, type map where I will receive the deliver DTO and then no, not you, but the delivery. That will return for me the type map. And the idea is with this type map, I will teach how to do the conversion thing. So my mapping using uh, UID converter will map where I need to go, delivery ID delivery DTO, sorry, delivery DTO to ID where you should appear and delivery to set track ID. So let execute again, and hopefully it will work better now. So I run the tests, it is okay. Uh, the idea is to compare both frameworks. So this one here, we covered the this model mapper here. And as you can see, I don't need a second class, a third class to do this conversion. It's going to use reflection on majority. Because of that, I need to cheat uh, to do some converters and also to different fields. I need to create my type map and then go to and from. Another important information it is because I do have several integrations that I that I do with uh, the map struct. So you can integrate with Spring, you can integrate with Google Juice and so on. That is all for today. Please let me know which one do you prefer, model mapper or map struct, and put your thoughts here. And if it was available, if you enjoy, please leave the like. Thank you and see you soon.